Hi guys, in this video we talk about our IoT project, a virtual mailbox which I, Varun Gupta, have designed along with my groupmate Aditya Undavari. It is based on the IoT uh, subject that we had in uh, our semester. So this is a virtual mailbox which notifies the user every time he gets a new mail in his post. So before, how, before I divulge into how it works, let me give you a brief of the setup. So the setup includes the main Raspberry device, that is this, which has the Raspbian OS installed in it. It has two main sensors attached to it on the breadboard, which is one is a motion sensor. So every time there is a new mail, so the motion of a mailbox, a mail entering the mailbox is recorded by the motion sensor. And every time there is the mail that presses on the LDR sensor, if there is any pressure on this, there is a light that lights up, notifying the user, as you can see, any pressure on this, even nearby, prove that your paperweight can also make the sensor lit, li, uh, lit, uh, light the light up rather. So every time a user gets a mail, the motion sensor and the LDR, they connect and the light pro uh, proves that, uh, tells the user that he's received a new mail. So let's get, into the, let's get into how it works. So before anything, this is how the terminal looks. The first file I run is a subscriber file. So, as you can see, once this file is executed, you get a message that you're all set to have some fun. This fun is basically where our device is connected to the AWS IoT. Here, now, once this device is connected, we can run the, uh, we can run the publisher file. But before that, I need to stop this subscriber file. So once the is keyboard interrupter timed out this session, we can run the publisher file. So once this file gets executed, you're basically the sensors can communicate directly with the AWS IoT where the data is stored and received and this sort of helps the user notify the user. So as you can see, this connection, it says the connection is successful. So the sensors are connected to the AWS IoT and they can have the data sharing start. So every time, once you see this, it keeps going on and on and every time the sensor changes to one, or if there is any motion that happens, you can see that I just moved my hand and you saw this extra line get added. Similarly, once this happens, I'll show you my mailbox, which is connected to the AWS IoT. So as I get the mail, you see the motion that happened, it gave the sensor so a new line. So this proves that there was change of state and you can see that the pressure lights up the light. The pressure on the LDR sensor lights up the light. And if I show you my mailbox, this is the mailbox which is connected to the AWS IoT. And using the SNS connect, uh, using the SNS, it transfers a notification to my mailbox saying that there is a new mail in my mailbox. And I have given an option that if I do not need to know, if I do not need to receive it, I can stop the notifications. Thank you.